I will perform range of motion for hip joint through the goniometer. Number one, range of motion of hip flexion. I'm trying to external and internal rotate of hip joint because it makes easier to palpate the greater trochanter. And this great, greater trochanter is going to be the fulcrum of range of motion hip flexion. During the hip flexion uh, range of motion, let the patient in supine line position. And we attach the sticker at the fulcrum point. And then the stationary arm should be uh, in a lateral midline of abdomen or pelvic. And the moving arm uh, should be in lateral midline of femur. We read the goniometer to check the result record the measurement. Number two, range of motion of hip extension. Now a uh, patient in prone line position, now I'm trying to find the fulcrum, greater trochanter, with the um, external and internally rotate the hip joint and attach the sticker to the fulcrum. External and internal uh, rotate the hip joint is uh, makes easier to palpate the greater trochanter. The pillow underneath the abdomen can stabilize the pelvic during the measurement. The stationary arm is going to be the lateral midline of abdomen or pelvis, and the moving arm is going to be the lateral midline of femur. Now ask patient to do the hip extension, and I measure. The goniometer and record the measurement. Number three, the range of motion of hip abduction. Patient in supine line position and palpate the anterior superior iliac spine and put the sticker on the landmarks and get ready for um, the range of motion. So the stationary arm is going to be the horizontal line uh, from left ASIS to the right ASIS. The goniometer is set up as a 90 degree and the fulcrum is going to be the ASIS on the left side. And the moving arm is a midline with left patella because we are going to uh, measure the left side femur. Perform abduction of hip joint. The patient's foot and kneecap face the ceiling during the measurement. So be careful not to external rotate the patient's foot during the measurement. Because if the hip joint is external rotated during the measurement, then we cannot get a proper result. Range of motion of hip adduction. Fulcrum is same as hip abduction. One difference is put a little away the right leg to avoid interfere during the left leg range of motion. The stationary arm and moving arm is also same as hip abduction. Foot and kneecap uh, should face the ceiling. Number 5. Range of motion of hip internal rotation. The fulcrum is mid of patella and make sure stabilize the femur and pelvis. The patient should be in high sitting position. Stationary arm is parallel to the floor, which is start with a 90 degree of goniometer. And the moving arm is going to be the midline with patella. Make sure both leg hanging uh, during high sitting position. Number six, hip external rotation. Fulcrum, stationary arm, moving arm is same as internal rotation of hip. One thing to be careful is the other leg not to interfere the externally rotate left leg 